Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, back again with another Time Pieces for Tomorrow video. We'll start out with a wristwatch check. That's right, I've got the Tudor Black Bay Chrono Inverted Panda on the wrist today. But what I want to talk about within this video is the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation. Now, if you're not familiar with the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation, it's the brand that started, you know, you had Rolex, and then to not misquote Mr. Wilsdorf, but he basically wanted to create a poor man's Rolex, so he created Tudor to make an affordable Rolex alternative. Now today, today being the calendar year 2024, the, uh, the market has changed quite a bit. So what we're seeing now, we're seeing Rolex, also known as the crown, we're seeing Rolex really try to compete with brands like Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, Vacheron Costume Team. You know, we're seeing them trying to go really, really, really upmarket. And in my opinion, Rolex was never a brand that was designed to, to do that. It's been a tool watch just to wear anywhere, you know, take it in the swimming pool, take it in the ocean, uh, take it in the hot tub, you know, probably not recommended, but I do it all the time and they hold up well. Now, since Rolex is going a lot more upmarket, what we see today with Tudor, because Tudor had a weird had a weird phase they just and i'll just say it like it is tudor released a bunch of junk i mean just junky awful uh i wouldn't even want to call them wristwatches they were so bad but since tudor created the black bay line which i think was around 2011 2012 things changed you know tudor now has a very high quality uh wristwatch tudor now is no longer in rolex headquarters basement Tudor now has their own manufacturing facility in Switzerland. So they're no longer just the little, oh, we'll, we'll toss these guys in the basement and tell them to make a watch. And when they grow up, they can create a better watch called Rolex. But Tudor, also referred to as the Shield, is now a different animal. What we're seeing now is Tudor has essentially replaced what Rolex was because Rolex has gone so upmarket that Tudor has filled that gap and it begs the question, well, what's the entry level Rolex? And in, in today's world, it's not what is the entry level Rolex, but it is what is the entry level Tudor because Tudor is going up market. So with that being said, it only seems to make sense that the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation will create a tertiary brand. And what do I mean by tertiary brand? Well, tertiary may sound like a fancy word, it just means third tier. So we've got, you know, Rolex now, which is extremely upmarket, up, 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 and continuing to go up with annual increases. You've got Tudor, which has replaced what was once Ro Rolex, which was already expensive, but now Tudor's gone up, up, up. So as far as an entry level price point for Rolex or Tudor, it's really kind of going away. So they need they need that entry level brand. To, uh, to be the poor man's Tudor, because Tudor was once the poor man's Rolex, now they need the poor man's Tudor. So with that being said, I wanna hear your thoughts. I've been collecting wristwatches since, uh, hmm, probably the 1980s, because I'm an old dude, man. I got all this gray fur, you know, I'm, I'm old. But I think I know a decent amount. Now, I don't know nearly as much is Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3, arguably the most knowledgeable wristwatch person in the entire world, and he hails from Brisbane, Brisbane, Australia. But, you know, this being said, I don't think I'm crazy. I think it makes sense. And, you know, the fact that Tudor, as I mentioned earlier, Tudor has moved their manufacturing facility out of the Rolex headquarters basement, and they've got their own brick and mortar now, so what if that tertiary Hans Wilsdorf Foundation brand emerges in Tudor's basement? How would that be? But with that being said, it's interesting to see the evolution of wristwatches. Uh, not, you know, obviously not focusing upon the price, but price often suggesting what may be coming soon. And, and like I said, this tertiary Hans Wilsdorf brand only seems to make sense. And, uh, you know, Tudor is the crown, uh, not Rolex is the crown. Tudor is the shield. Tudor going more and more upmarket with their manufacturing process. Now we've got master chronometers 
from Tudor, and we've had them for a while, but it's just they're going more and more upmarket. But we're going to talk about that within separate videos. Subscribe to my channel, ring that bell to be notified whenever I post another video, and check out all of my timepieces for tomorrow videos. And if there's a topic you would like to hear me to discuss within an upcoming timepieces for tomorrow video, comment below, and I'll try my best to post a video response ASAP. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Thanks again for watching this video, and want to remind everyone, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And if you've got a wristwatch or a wristwatch collection that you'd like for me to try to review with an upcoming video, send me an email, review at timepiecesfortomorrow.com. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.